Hello tarot lovers, this is Mervet from the Egyptian Mystic, welcome back to my channel. I have today four gorgeous decks, botanical decks for Sheraline Darcy, and she is a great, uh, a great uh, author, she has many botanical decks, and I have these four gorgeous decks that I would love to share with you. I will start with this one, which is the Flowers of the Night Oracle, and that's the first deck that I bought for her, and uh, it introduced me to these botanical decks, and I wanted to get all of her decks, because they are really very powerful. This deck I have seen several times, and I don't know something... I was so attracted to the deck, something as if it was calling to me. I mean, it's not, I don't always get attracted to decks this way, but this is one of those decks that really pulled me in and uh, I decided to get it, uh, although it's just a black and white deck, but I will show you why I felt it's so powerful. This is the box and it is uh, so beautifully green from the inside and uh, the guidebook is very very nicely written as you see there are lots of spreads here and uh, when she explains the cards here she talks about the she introduces uh, you to the to the to the plant she used and she talks about it and then you see the explanation is not so uh, i mean not a long paragraph but it is so nicely written and here we have an affirmation and keywords i do adore the way she explained the cards it's so nice and the cards themselves are really gorgeous these are the backs black and white you see the moon and the stars and i edged it in this green because you see this is it's written in green here and the box is lined in green so i felt it will really match and the cards have this beautiful black background and mostly uh, 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 white black and white and very few colors you see lots of yellows and greens and sometimes you see the moon and the stars you see a special animal which is uh, accompanies the the plant i do adore this deck so much and the keywords are really very nicely written like here with this all focus and sensitivity power wisdom challenge communication very very beautiful really i was so attracted to this deck and it gives e extremely powerful readings i use it a lot and really it's one of my favorite decks of all times uh, so you see the artwork is nice it's not the best artwork i mean but it is really very powerful um, it is great very nicely written and it is one of a kind so this is my favorite botanical deck and uh, it is really nice and let me uh, let's pick a card and so that i can show you why i see it's so powerful uh, it's by rockpool and the quality of the cards is really very nice the card stock is great the size is nice and it shuffles very well let's pick a card so this is understanding night blooming cirrus let's see in the book it is alphabetically uh, it's they are not numbered but yeah so understand you see i just opened the book and it came so this is the night blooming cirrus cactus native in florida through texas mexico and central america and it, she explains the plant the length of the plant and everything about it and then here this flower speaks of new perspectives and leads us to explore inner wisdom, which may have been a little hard to find in the past. Empowerment may come from new insights. Regaining control of situations is also very much indicated. Your destiny is in strong focus as well. So what is it that is going to on right now that may help or hinder your path? The sensual aspects of relationships are highlighted. <clears throat> So it's a wonderful time to explore, have fun, and enjoy yourself. A time to celebrate the radiance of your being. Sensitivities are also running a little high. So look to ways to ground your emotions or step back 
<coughs> and let them run their course. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'll get some water. And then here we have an affirmation and keywords, understanding, sensuality, radiance, inner wisdom, destiny, empowerment, and perspective. And in many of the cards, you will see if there is a challenge, she will highlight the challenge. So not the cards, the cards are not all positive or, you know, these affirmation cards. It is a powerful deck that has negative and positive uh, readings. So that was my first deck. And then... This is another great oracle of hers, oracle of the roses, and it is stunning. You see, uh, the production is amazing. It's by Rockpool. The box looks really uh, stunning, and the cards are amazing. You see the box, very nice, and the guidebook. Let me show you the guidebook. Very, very nice. The, even the quality of the paper used, you see, so unique. Here, introduction. And then how to use the cards, three, uh, three uh, spreads and about the roses, a note about information within, growing roses, buying a rose, sun temperature and humidity, water and soil, and then the cards. And what is very special about this deck is that, uh, again, she, exp she talks about the specific rose she picked, and each card um, is an archetype. <clears throat> and so that's really very uh, interesting. And many cards are associated to uh, um, zodiac signs. So it is quite interesting. And here you see part is about the oracle meaning. And in ethnobotanical archetype exploration, botanical notes, plant energies, meaning and uses deities which are the who are the deities it's associated with and the astrological signs uh, so it is really great the guidebook is amazing and the cards are stunning those are the gorgeous backs and it is uh, gilded in red so they look really very pretty and the quality is stunning amazing and it has this rose petal feel so smooth and sens and sensual the cards are very very beautiful and they are uh, three types of roses uh, all these roses are wild roses and then another suit of old garden roses and then uh, modern garden rose so it's quite uh, insightful and quite uh, detailed so here we have the wild rose and the archetype is the democrat, the pioneer, the alchemist, the challenger and the roses you see, they pop. Uh, I mean, you see them as if they are really, uh, you see them in the garden. The artwork is so beautiful and the, it has a lot of depth. And this is the architect, the healer. All of them are stunning, the rabel, the flirt, the ancestor, I mean, it is really great. The father and the scientist, the priest, the pioneer, the loner, the companion, and the knight, mother, warrior. Look at those beautiful roses. The gardener, the creator. I never, I have never thought of that all the roses are so different and it is another uh, world uh, in itself. I mean, uh, look at how many roses there are and I do adore this orange rose the gambler fortunes yellow rose the storyteller the advocate oh my god the caregiver and the self you see it has lots of thorns the sensualist the hero the citizen the jester the outsider the alchemist the rescuer the innovator, the sage, and the seeker. It is stunning, and I want to pick a card so that we can uh, see uh, how it explains the archetypes. Uh, the quality, the card stock is really uh, very nice. So this is the one, the father. Mountain Rose. So let's see, it's number 10. Number 10, that's the card. So... The real power to begin anything in your life is ultimately yours. 
So you may be influenced, blocked or gifted with opportunities. It's up to you to create the action needed for making a foray our, uh, out into the world. Perhaps patience is needed or more. Study before you, your plans can unfold. Or maybe you are trying to do something that is not truly aligned <laughs> with your passion, values and calling. The father takes time to make trusted decisions that others can rely on. They are courageous and capable while inspiring a quiet type of leadership that's comforting and uh, steadfast. A very nice card that I picked and it has lots of meanings to me. I mean, I feel that it has a message for me. So this is the ethnobotanical uh, archetype exploration. What are the useful lessons I have learned in life from an authority higher than myself? Wow. The botanical notes about the, the plant, meaning and uses of the plant energies, protection, courage, guidance, study authority, deities, Uranus, Saturn, Demeter, and the astrological sign is Capricorn. So you see, it is a very nice book to use, and uh, I think it, uh, it can be uh, paired with many decks. So I really highly recommend this gorgeous deck and I find that it's the best deck she has done. And then I have also this Magical Herb Oracle. Uh, I got it after I got those two beautiful decks. This is the box. I paired this deck with a French, uh, a French uh, tarot. I think it's uh, Le Tarot. Uh, I can't remember the name, but it's in English, the tarot with uh, um, antlers. Look at those. Here we see the cards, the, the book you see here. Lots of, no, there's not a lot of, uh, three spreads. And then again, botanical description, magical correspondence and the signs and elements. And then here you see uh, a spell in each book, in each with each card. Very nice. You see here a lot of information. Very nice. Lots of spells. Okay. So let's have a look at those gorgeous cards. They are numbered. They are not in order because I was doing a reading. Enthusiasm, change, stimulate. I forgot to show you these gorgeous bags. They are stunning, and I edged it in this uh, green to match the, the 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 leaves. Detox, harmony, compassion, protection, focus. I do adore these decks. They are so powerful, and they really gives a lot of readings, uh, accurate readings. Look at here. You see in the background sometimes here freedom, and you see a small cage. Uh, with an open door a ladder here you see here activation you see some uh, some signs um, I don't know what's the name of this um, uh, in English anyhow I don't have to try courage and open you see the key here guidance here like a lighthouse Awakening, you see these eyes, it's really beautiful. If you look closely, you will see that the cards are so nice and very beautiful. Repair, look at this tool. Purification, attraction, reflection, abundance, clarity, and look at this. Magnifying glass, Rad radiate, communication, balance, and you see the scales. Desire, ah, desire, and you see here is Aladdin, um, Aladdin, it's, this is the Aladdin, uh, you remember the story when the genie came out of this, uh, what is this called in English, my God, now, can I say the word in Arabic, <laughs> it's, uh, it's Misbah in Arabic, so I think it's uh, a lamp, Aladdin lamp, I think so. Healing, I know that you will be laughing now and you'll say, well, it's not so easy to do uh, videos not using your own mother tongue. Sometimes I forget completely the word. And when I uh, see the video myself again, I say, oh, my God, why didn't I say this? So <laughs> I just wanted to mention that. And my fourth deck is this adorable one, the Green Witch Oracle. 
and uh, it's her deck too I really like her decks this is the box by Rockpool each of the decks has a very special energy so here look at the, the guidebook look at the way it is done amazing you see the 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 plant oracle meanings cultivation magical correspondences and spells so good and the cards are stunning i they are numbered this is victory and in this deck you will see lots of signs everywhere tranquility and you see here uh, the scandal and the pisces and refinement scorpio purification uh, gemini positivity uh, leo longevity scorpio so i like its association with uh, with the astrological signs and this is focus sagittarius sign attraction and gorgeous these cards are really gorgeous holdness black mulberry vitality the fig and this is the taurus sign luck the lemon lime and love look at this energy and this is the the virgo sign fertility duality continuance cleansing agreement abundance a beautiful deck a very beautiful this is the sign astrological sign and you will see uh, always signs everywhere success strength the fennel stimulation regeneration memory and here we have the book happiness divination courage fiction transition lovely ritual i i mean i do adore these decks productivity passion leadership grounding emotion desire beautiful cards very nice so this is the green witch oracle it has very witchy energy and i do adore it and uh, i did many readings using these gorgeous cards and they pair perfectly well with many tarot decks uh, i was planning to do uh, like uh, playing with pairs deck uh, video so maybe uh, in a week or so i will do this because i'm starting to pick some decks and pair them and i want to fill them very very soon so let's pick a card transition the cauliflower beautiful number 11 so those were my deck my my botanical decks by Sherilyn darcy four gorgeous decks i would really love to know which one did you like most uh, looking forward to hear uh, your comments thank you so much for being here see you on my next video and bye